I guess you could say I'm fed up with the drama. You're not about to blame the victim here, are you? If it was funny, it was fun. My name is Marvin. I'm 22, and I live in Joplin, Missouri. I was trying to meet new people on social media, hoping that I'd hit it off with someone. All the guys I encountered only wanted sex, until I met this handsome guy named Austin on Grindr. We took a liking to each other and realized we had something in common. We were both new in town. Despite all of our passionate conversations and saying how much we want to meet each other, we've never met in person. I've asked him to hang out, but he's always conveniently busy. I haven't been in a serious relationship with a guy yet, but it's what I really want right now, and I want it with Austin. From everything I've been told about Grindr, yeah. I thought it was mostly hookups. Yeah, so I'm curious as to why he's so open to wanting a relationship. It seems a little naive. Right. Were you looking on Grindr specifically for your friends? At first, it was kind of like a hookup type thing, mm -hmm. but then after a while, I was like, okay, this is getting old. And so Austin really stood out. Yes. Oh. You messaged him first. I did message him first. So you right. looking for a friend? Yeah. So oh, then he just went for it. Then he just dove right in. I mean, now I look back and it's like, well, I sent those pictures and now I know I'm exposed. It's like, dang, who am I sending these to? See, he calls me when we spoke and everything. But then he was like, hey, uh, I got my sister here. Because he had to use the bathroom. So she, he goes to the bathroom, his sister gets on the phone. What and does she, she say? she's talking about how he's a great guy. He came back and was talking to me and was like, hey, send me a pic. And I was like, that's kind of red. I'm like, dang, like. Like, the sister's right there. And then he's like, yo, send me a pic. Thinking about cutting my hair off again, what does everyone think? Come Brad, to the salon, and I'll take care of that luscious hair. Come to the salon, says Woody. We want to reach out to Woody, because Woody is the only person thus far that seems to... Okay, here's Woody. So, hey, Woody. This is Max from the MTV Show Cafe, blah, blah, blah. You can call me at... Okay. I sent to Woody. Who now. is this? It looks like a lot of names coming up. Miles Sexton. Miles Sexton. Who is this guy? Oh, wait, there's a Facebook page here. So here is Miles' Facebook page. He lives in Toronto. Oh. And oh, in right. a relationship. Uh, let's send him yeah. a message. We should let him know what's oh, going boy. on. This is Max from the MTV show Catfish. I know this might be strange. We're doing an episode that Inside. might involve you. Yes. Sent. Oh, Woody. Sure, sure I know Austin. Austin. My, my friend hangs out my with My friend him. hangs out with him. So he is a really big missing link right now. Right. He could know the real Austin Sanderson he in Missouri. He could be the real Austin Sanderson. He could be the real Austin Sanderson. We're not so sure who Austin is. And so you said to us that you have a friend that is like I'm going out with him or? I'm not sure about that. I know they're friends. OK. OK. Who is your friend, if we may Kurt. ask? Kurt. Kurt. Do you have a way to get in touch with Kurt? Well, phone number. That would be great. Hi, is this Kurt? Yes. Hey, Kurt. Uh, my name is Max. I am on the show Catfish. We're helping a young man named Marvin who believes he's having a relationship with a guy named Austin Sanderson. Do you know that name or that yeah. person? Yeah, yeah. Me and my boyfriend met him at uh, one of the clubs here in town. Really? What does Austin look like? He has long blonde hair, um, kind of light blue eyes. Uh, it's a really good looking guy. Kurt. How has he yeah. met this person? He's met a fake person. There's something really sketchy. Hey guys, I got a call from Miles. Miles, this is Marvin. Hi, Marvin. <laughs> <laughs> hey. So Marvin, for the last few months, has been talking to someone on the internet who goes by the name Austin, who wow. has been using a lot of pictures of you. That's um, so crazy. So you live in Toronto. I do. You've never been to Missouri? Never. Oh, ah, I can't so, imagine how you're feeling. Sorry, it's, it's good to hear from you, though. Absolutely. I don't know, it's like, oh, wow, that's, you know, the person I've been talking to. That's not been the person I've been talking to. It was like, who I wanted to meet. Hello, is this Matt? Yes. My name's Isaiah, and I am Kurt's boyfriend. Um, I just found out that you and Kurt had a bit of a conversation earlier about our relationship with Austin. Yes. And I, I guess you could say I'm fed up with the drama. I just wanted to see if maybe you guys could meet up tomorrow. Absolutely. To kind of explain some stuff. So Austin's not a real person. Kurt, 
is behind it. So um, Kurt is the one who's been operating the profile. Yeah, he's evidently pretending to be someone else. Once I found out about it, I tried to, you know, put a stop to all of this. And I am truly, from the bottom of my heart, you can't understand, I am so sorry for what he's put you through. I hope to see him. I think we better go pay Kurt a visit. He went to a friend's house and he knows you guys are here. He has to know you guys are coming. Okay. Hi, uh, Kurt? No, I'm Jason. You're Jason. Is Kurt here? Yeah, just a second. Thank Who was that? Hi there. I'm Kurt. Why'd you lie to me? Well, I, you weren't really talking to me, but you're actually talking with Kylie. What? I actually have spoken to you on the phone before. This is the sister. All of us had the password to the profile. All of us saw every message. Originally, the profile was created to, to bust cheaters. Well, I wasn't cheating on anyone. You unfortunately got caught in the crossfire, and we started talking to you quite a bit. I made the Facebook profile. I didn't talk to anyone on any of the profiles. I was just highly, she liked talking to Marvin. I found people to target. How many other Marvins are there? There was probably only about 10 to 15 that held conversations. I feel like I've been tormented for the past three months. Y'all playing with my feelings. What made you think that all this was real? It, it's not fair. It's not fair that I get taunted with saying, why do you think this is real? Why are you making this account? Do you yeah. really think that somebody like that would live here? Not... I wouldn't be so ready to be sending pictures and stuff like that. And You're not about to blame the victim here, are you? Because that sounds like where you're going with no. this, and that would no. be really up. I think that's what he needs to know. Well, well I think he can not, come to that his own conclusion not, himself. That's yeah, not your not job. In, you're not in the position to teach him any lessons right now. Then why do you show your pictures and stuff like you that? You entrapped him. I get it. Yeah. Really Am I in crazy I world? I you found a vulnerable guy who had just moved to town. You're, you're tempting him with a good looking guy and you're asking for pictures and then you're gonna blame the person that you're seducing? Well, none of our attention You're shaming him shaming. for falling into but, a trap. I know what it's like to be on the other end. Most of my boyfriends have not ended up straight. I've, I've been the cover story for almost every single person I've dated. So I had a Grindr account to see if anybody I had dated was on there. Well, for me, I mean, I was in a relationship up until January, and we had a lot of cheating problems going on. My involvement was just setting the profiles up. Why did you keep it going? with Marvin if he wasn't even one of the targeted people. The thing is, is that I was trying to keep him interested enough to want to meet us in person, to tell him the truth, that it, the profile was fake. That's why fine. not just stop talking to him or? You can just be honest and say, you know what? It was funny, we were just messing around with him. That's not the entire truth though. But until but you tell us something that- Replaces that. Replaces that, we are just going to assume that that's probably what it was. When the more graphic, dirty conversations were going on, we were typically together. And that's, were that's you laughing? Um, and yeah. having a we good did, time with we it? We did laugh at first, yes. But towards the, you know, Be the end, honest. I'm saying, Please. No. Was it fun? It was funny, but it wasn't fun. If it was funny, it was fun. It I was don't fun. think it's funny anymore. The right. only thing I'm, I'm asking is, will this end? so that others don't get hurt like me. So could you leave a message saying to everyone on here, I apologize, but this is a fake profile? Yeah. I apologize for what we have done. This is an entirely fake page. Marvin, how have you been since we left? It's been going great. Have you been hitting up any other dating apps? No. No. I guess I've just been more careful. How are things in Joplin? It's going okay. Trying to stay out of other people's business. Who's cheating on each other and whatnot, but it's not our place, so. Honestly, I don't lie to anybody about anything anymore. There's no reason to.